So like we mentioned about the cup, you are going to buy this gashugwa. Now why is this aeroplane passing and there's explaining well? welcome to my channel my name is diana Mbuvi. if this is the first time you're seeing my face if you haven't subscribed to my channel please 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 this this is the sign this is the sign that you need to subscribe because this is the home of content and to my returning subscribers to the people who've always been supporting me from the start thank you so much for your support it means a lot so i have not posted for the last two weeks and when i was starting this i told myself that i was going to give it my best and be as consistent as i can but unfortunately i lost my footage and it wasn't backed up so like ilipotea tuivo so there's nothing i could do about it but anyway we move so on today's video i wanted to do a really informative video on aliexpress basically everything you need to know about aliexpress many people know about alex okay no, let me not say many some people know about aliexpress but they don't know how to go about it they don't know how to shop and ship items here into kenya so in this video i'm going to basically take you through aliexpress what is aliexpress how it works why it works that way we're going to talk about the pros and cons of shopping and shipping on aliexpress what else are we going to talk about um how to not get scammed on aliexpress because there are scammers out there i'm not gonna lie and if there's anything i haven't mentioned about the aliexpress stuff it's gonna be in the video so please continue watching this video and kindly kindly take notes please yes thank you so i have my notes ready in my dream believe achieve planner written by whitney akini i will leave the link to her instagram in the bar in 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 my in my description box so if you want the book you can get it from her it's a really nice book totally 100 percent recommend so the first thing you're going to talk about is what is aliexpress i'm going to be referring so much to the notes easy exam so what is aliexpress um, AliExpress is an online retail service that is owned by the Alibaba Group and it basically provides an online platform for Chinese small businesses to sell their items and their products to the rest of the world. This means that the Chinese do not have access to AliExpress. They have their own apps and their own websites that they can shop from. I'd advise you download the app. It's available on, on iOS and Android devices, your App Store and Play Store. So once you sign, when you, when you sign in and like you've um, entered all your details, this is how the app looks like. The basic overviews, whatever, like whatever is on sale, the top categories, top ranking, there's a search icon. So many, many things are available, very, very easy to understand. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about, let me just talk about this in this video, is the search icon. You can basically just type whatever it is that you want and it will appear. So, kama mimi apa, let's say I want tops, search tops, because that's what was here on this phone. Yes, so Nikki search tops, these are all the tops that I'm getting. Guys, my phone is old. <laughs> Um, yeah, these are all the tops I'm getting. I'll, I'll, I'll work a screen record up by Vikando. There are so many, so many tops. There are so many people selling tops. So from there, you can just choose. And also there is, uh, there's the, there's the photo search icon where if you have a screenshot of something and like you don't know the name of whatever it is you want and you have a screenshot, you just put it there. The way like pin, you can do that on Pinterest nowadays and then you will get whatever it is you're looking for or something that's similar to whatever you're looking for so please please go practice that kidogo like just go look at the app understand what what it looks like what those terms mean your how to buy you know what's going on the next thing we're going to talk about is what you can buy on aliexpress so aliexpress sells a variety of items and goods and products um, but of course you can't buy guns there, but they also sell cars. But for obvious reasons, again, you can't buy a car on AliExpress. So you'll find clothes, makeup, skincare items. You will find, um, hair, wigs, 
hair accessories with diy items you will find everything there but let me just share with you guys what i have bought from them and what i think is safe to buy from them so i've bought bags clothes jewelry hair um what else have i bought yeah that's 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 what i've bought and i also think you can buy shoes there i think you can buy diy items there i think you can buy house things this things these cute things for houses you can you can buy them there they are really 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 affordable and please 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 because aliexpress is affordable does not mean you go buy everything for things that you want to last for things that you want to keep or like that are going to serve you for long i'd advise you not to buy there for example you will find they're selling iphones you will find they're selling laptops you will find they're selling tvs those are not things you buy there please kindly okay now let's talk about the pricing on aliexpress so if you've looked at the app and you've had me mention the items on aliexpress are really really cheap and are really really low priced as compared to other online sites like anywhere else um so this is because of various reasons so let's start with the fact that they produce dupes counterfeits and fix meaning that they use low quality um, materials to produce their items meaning that they do not incur as much cost in the production of their fix so for example this bag i bought there is supposed to be um jacquemus bag i don't know if that's how you pronounce it of course the origin i've never seen the original the original does not look like this and it definitely does not feel like this this is something that can easily when it has money oh this is something that tenye in ruka too so probably this is fake leather so at a maybe i make the cost of production was 200 then i got the bag for 500 this bag cannot even fit my patients i gosh it can't fit anything um the other reason why the the things are really really cheap is because most of the vendors and the sellers on Ali, on aliexpress are based in china and they get their merchandise in china which is cheap the factories are in china like everything we wear is written made in china i mean i even feel like this phone is written yeah this phone is written made in china so it's cheap like they are easy to easy to ni cheap so for them it will be like nikawa na peana it's like a giveaway like a throwaway price or something then the other reason is because both aliexpress and the sellers want to attract as more customers as possible and which other way than to lower the price and to sell them for cheap so sakama mimi i want to look nice in a jacquemus bag but the original one i don't know is how much i can't even look at it because i don't want to lower my self-esteem I decided to lower my self-esteem and Google the price of an original mini Jacquemus bag. And according to an article written in February 2019, the bag retails for $345 to $795. But they're giving me this for $500. Why shouldn't I buy it? Yeah, you see? Um, and, and also, again, the Chinese government is really, like, provides a really business-friendly environment for their for the business people the taxes are really really low so for them of course the cost of production again will be low so that way they can afford to do things like give out do coupon codes do sales as as much as possible do free ship shipping like sometimes you go to aliexpress you look at the price you're like are you sure yeah so those are the reasons why things are very very cheap on aliexpress I, I hope i've explained well i really hope i've explained well because i'm so nervous i don't know why i'm nervous on this video like sijui maneno zinani potelea okay now let me talk about what everyone has been waiting for and probably why everyone is watching this video which is shipping so so many people probably don't know how to ship on aliexpress or always ask how they ship on aliexpress and there are two ways in which you can ship items from aliexpress to kenya one is through poster and the other one is through shipping companies so for the person who'd asked me on sunday when i did the they asked me something about aliexpress if you i ship through poster or shipping companies i want to tell you yes you can ship through them the two of them but personally what i have been using so far is i have been shipping through poster so you just enter your postal office 
address details on your address book on aliexpress when you're signing up or when you're creating an account you will find that there's a place where you're supposed to enter your address book so up on like one two three zero zero one hundred to seme gpo malio poster maliko ivo sasa now if you don't have uh that old address that were used back in the day okay they're still being used poster has come up with another way where you can register your phone as your address book so this is called i think mposta i don't have much details about that a friend has told me he has used it before but let me not now start explaining if you would like to like use mposta or have your uh, your phone registered as your address book just go to any poster and ask them for that and ask them how it works uh, or i think i saw mposta work on a, like a page on ig if i if i find they have a page i will definitely leave their link on the description box so you can just send them a dm or call them if they've put their number there and ask them i think they have explained well so see aliexpress what are toys of vitus could you your address so now for me let me explain now the poster that i use when the items come, I don't know why. Oh my God, Kitambo, you used to go and just get your things. Nowadays, you pay a hundred bob. And let me complain. Why can't I empesa this a hundred bob? Nila post a pale jamia mall. Why can't I empesa my a hundred bob? Oh, I don't know about the rest of the posters, but your poster na lipanga so so mkangi mkijuaivo. On AliExpress Pia, when you when you are signing in, when you are creating an account, nini nini, I'm sure they somewhere they asked you for your phone number. So that phone number is the one that they text. Now, poster, kituyako ikisha fika, they will text you that number and tell you that your item has arrived. So you go and collect it. Now, let's talk about uh, using a shipping company to ship to Kenya from AliExpress. Uh, this AliExpress thing is a class I took and I... I was going through my notes and I was preparing for this and I realized nilikuwa na ignore because I thought I knew AliExpress but shipping company using a shipping company is actually the method to to ship to Kenya from AliExpress but it's different like you won't just insert an address to in your address book on AliExpress Okay, now let me start by explaining how shipping companies work. We're going to call our shipping company Teddy Bear because there's a teddy bear in front of me. Um, shipping company Teddy Bear has a warehouse in China. This warehouse has an address and it also has a warehouse or a pickup point in Nairobi. So basically as a client, when I approach Teddy Bear and I want them to ship for me, they will give me the option of either shopping for me or giving me the address I shop for myself. Mostly I usually ask for the address to shop myself because that's the cheapest option um <laughs> so when they give me the address they are going to give me yeah here we are house yao yeniko china and i will use that as my delivery address in whichever site or whichever app i'm using and then the items will be moved from this warehouse in china and then they'll be either flown 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 zita bebona ndege ama zikujena si to this pick up point or warehouse in Nairobi and then now this is where I will pay my shipping costs this is where I'll pay my shipping fee because they've already done measurements and I don't know which other costs they usually do ndio sasa wani pay the total waniambie maybe utapata some shipping companies they charge 700 wengine wana charge 1500 all this depends on one the shipping company and also the rate of the dollar at the time that you're shipping that's quite an easy process because I've done it several times, but it's not as direct on AliExpress. This is because if you can remember, please, I, I hope Niliwa Shomandike notes. If you can remember, I said that AliExpress does not ship to China. So in your address book, your, your AliExpress address book, when you're creating an account or whatever, when you're choosing countries, China is not there. That's because they don't ship to China. You get so what you would have to do is give this ship teddy bear teddy bear is the shipping company i hope you remember you give teddy bears address yeah he warehouse who pay to your seller on aliexpress directly before you pay or before you finish clearing okay i hope i hope to nailewana then they will change for you and then you will go and clear and payment now here is payment uh you will pay via mpesa okay we'll talk about payment in the next category now here you'll pay via mpesa 
and then sasa vitu zako zitakuja sana ile process sasa zitoke kwa hii address yako China zikuje kwa hii pick up point ya Nairobi but i will show you guys practically i will have to do it practically because it was in my notes and i didn't know like it was so nice was also I, I, when i was going through the notes i read that when you tell them that you're using a, an agent in china or you're shipping them to an address in china the shipping costs if the the item had a shipping costs when you're picking it it reduces and even the item the price of the item reduces by a certain percentage so yeah i'm gonna show you this practically but i feel like i've explained it to the best of my ability and to the easy in the easiest way that i could theoretically so yeah let's move to the next thing which is payment <sighs> says it when I take a break. I feel like this video has been so long. So you guys can take a break. It's literally a class. Chamin kunya juice. Okay, now we are back in session. Now on payments, um AliExpress accepts various methods of payment such as M-Pesa, uh M-Pesa debit cards, Mastercards, and paypal so when you're checking out to just choose your preferred method of payment for me i have paid using my debit card which is my atm card and using mpesa and that's it you, that's all that's all you need to know about payment but now this brings us to the question and the worry that many people usually have about paying for things online before they get it or when they do not have contact with this person that they are buying from and you'll find that people say they don't buy online because they are scared they will never get their things or this person will disappear and that is very very understandable but that is rarely the case on aliexpress i can guarantee you all the items that i have bought on aliexpress i have received them and those that i didn't receive i was refunded so aliexpress has a has a what is it called um there's a buyer protection policy so this means that your money is protected and your item is protected on aliexpress now let me explain the two instances where i did not get my items and when i got a refund um so now when you order you're given a duration there's a duration that shows like there's a line that will show when you're when you're ordering your items to show that this is the time that you're supposed to wait for your item to receive that is called the waiting time so sometimes you'll find that the waiting time is 30 to 72 days like it's a lot so just order and forget like i said so how to when it exceeds that 72 days or when it's 72 days and you're not getting any information or any updates on your item I'd advise you go to whoever you bought like this contact information of the seller. Tell them you have not received your item or any updates about your item and you would like to open a dispute. Now this is what happened to me. I have done that twice. The one time I was told to wait for my item, I would get it and I did get it. The other person was like, "I'm so sorry, here's your money and I got back my money." So that happens a refund before the item arrives now in severe cases or in really really bad cases where you've gotten your item and it doesn't look like what you ordered like what was put on the like on the page the image didn't look like what you got you are given an option to either return the item and get a full refund or half a refund and keep the item now the return policy is where many people draw the line because it's a very very long process and it's very very expensive again because you have to pass through customs and there's a probability that this chinese person will never even ever get it so for most people kama mimi i just take the l and move on with my bad thing i don't even ask for that half refund but for this half refund you you can just again contact whoever you sold it to and just tell them a hey, my item <laughs> does not match what 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 was what, what was advertised or what i expected it to look like and if they don't want to give you that half refund you can always contact aliexpress i think customer service or 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 aliexpress help something and then now from there you can resolve the issue 
and also for you to avoid getting scammed or getting to go through all this refund cg calling at the calling texting aliexpress help center or whatever before you buy anything always check the reviews and always check for the number of item like the number of buys that particular item has so obviously it means that if this person has sold 2000 things of the like okay let's say you are buying this glass on aliexpress and then there's shop a that has sold 2000 and then there's shop b that has sold nine obviously buy from shop 2000 the one that has sold 2000 cups because it means that uh that shop is more credible more people uh have like can bank on that shop as compared to this one i'm not saying that this shop with nine who have who has nine people is bad but it could it's it just this one has more <laughs> This one has more sense and also always check the rating so that you can know how good or bad the item is. For me, uh, a rating of four and above, that's good. If an item has a rating of three point mm -mm, class, I hope I may take his own notes because me, Adi Mate in Shakwam Domo. Before I dismiss you all, uh, we are on to the next topic chapter which is the pros and cons of buying on aliexpress let me just start with the pros of buying on aliexpress the first one obviously things are very cheap and affordable you will get dupes and whatever like dresses shoes for very very cheap prices so go buy on aliexpress the other thing on aliexpress there's no moq moq is minimum order quantity so it means if i find that these earrings are being sold for three bob just this one pair and i want this one pair that shop will not tell me you need to buy 20 no i can just go get this pair of earrings for three bob and proceed to buy and move on um the other one that we've just talked about is that there's a great buyer protection policy meaning that your money is protected and you know there's uh policies and laws covering that buying process the other pro is there's a variety of items and variety of shops selling probably the same items so you can choose from so when you go and search for this cup say they were selling this cup you will find more than 30 shops selling it so like we mentioned check the buy account the reviews and yeah and that's how you'll know now i've settled for this shop that's where i'm going to buy for them now let's talk about the cons um a long waiting time <laughs> you cannot urgently need an item from aliexpress whether you use a shipping company by the way or whether you use poster kwanza poster just order and forget if you use a shipping company the waiting time is not that long but you still won't get it immediately or urgently um the other the other thing is sometimes you don't get what you ordered for and also this could also be on you not on aliexpress by the way so when you're buying something always make sure you read the specifications and you look at pictures of client reviews so that you don't like when it comes you're not shocked like me when i got this bag let me tell you guys i was perplexed flabbergasted flamboyant cjh to kaivi ini nini that's because I didn't read the reviews and I didn't check. I just assumed it, it's the size of what I was expecting. So sometimes, then the other thing is you get your items as is. This, mean, this means that you can't customize your items. Now, let me break for you a secret. If you have a business, you can actually customize and brand your things on alibaba and other sites that i'm not going to tell you because you need to do your research so on aliexpress if they are selling this bag as yellow if this bag exists in yellow black pink and blue those are the only colors that are there and if it is written j it is only written j but on other places if you want this bag in red maroon um pink and you want it to be written xyz here you can do that now that is work for you to find out i'm not gonna tell you everything so that's it for today's video guys i'm tired i i just want to sleep now i've never talked like this in my life <laughs> Yeah, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching up until here. I believe this video was very, very informative. 
and if you want to and if you're willing by the way you have gathered a lot of information here that you can use and if you have any questions please please just leave it in the comment section or i will leave the link to my ig just send me a dm and then we can see how to proceed um for the shipping videos and the shopping i will do another video because there are some things i i also haven't talked about i will do a practical video very soon showing you guys how now to buy the things and how to pay for them so thank you so much for watching thank you for being patient with me i hope you've learned something personally i've learned something eh, i can talk so bye guys see you on my next video See you when Monge will allow him to subscribe. Always stay gracious. Best revenge is your paper.